Good, beautiful morning guys, how are you doing today? Hopefully you're fresh and well and beautiful and another fine and fantastic day again today. Welcome back to another vlog. And yes, you might have worked out that I've kind of not been vlogging as much as I used to. I keep going through these kind of stages at the moment where some days I feel really motivated to pick up the camera and create videos and create vlogs and stuff for you guys, but sometimes I don't. But I think that's kind of okay because Sometimes, as a creative, you go through these like peaks and troughs. Some days you feel really motivated and some days you don't. And I've literally had those kind of don't days at the moment where I just haven't felt like picking up the camera and I just haven't wanted to create videos which don't really have much passion, don't really have much kind of going on in them. I don't want to create stuff which I find boring and I think that you guys would find boring as well. So, right at the very beginning of this video, I really want you to comment down below right now and give me some inspiration, give me some ideas of what type of videos would you like me to see in the very near distant future? Do you want me just to pick up the camera, start doing like Q&A type videos? Do you want me to, I don't know, just, just comment down below some kind of inspiring, thought-provoking video potential making comments. Did that make any sense? I don't know. Just comment down below some videos what you would like me to see. Some videos you would like me to make, not what you would like me to see because I need to make them so you can see. You know what I mean. Just comment down below. And I think there is a reason why I'm kind of feeling like this at the moment and that is because when you go onto YouTube, well for me for instance, when I go onto YouTube and you see those thumbnails, you see those videos of those people you look up to and aspire to, they're doing some crazy ass things and I'm literally here in my flat with not a lot going on at the moment. We've got no kind of travel plans at the moment. We've got nothing kind of crazy going on. So I find it kind of hard to go, hey, we've got some cool things to be doing today. I've got to hang up a picture. No joke, I've got to hang up a picture. This picture right here I need to hang up on the wall. I think it's going to go up there, but actually, I've got a very, very interesting story to tell you about this picture. But before I go into any kind of detail about that picture, because it is a cool story, like the other things I've got to do today, I've, I've got to go to the supermarket, I've got to go buy some food because my sister's coming over for tea. I need to cook some food for my sister. Um, I need to go to my printers. I've got to pick up a couple of merch items. And also I've got to go back to my dad's because we don't have a printer here and I need to print the printing stuff to send those items of merch out and stuff. So as you can kind of see, like, it's not exactly a kind of crazy and fun, fulfilled day. Literally spent my whole morning sat here creating a video, I've been editing. I've done a lot of emailing actually. I've been emailing lots of different companies and potential clients and stuff, trying to rustle up a little bit of work. And that kind of reminds me of another cool thing I should probably do today as well. And that is open this box right here. This company, BenQ, actually contacted me probably about a week or two ago and they asked me would I be interested in reviewing their product, which is an external monitor. And it's actually an eye care monitor. I haven't actually taken out the box, I haven't tried it, I haven't tested it, I don't really know that much about it at the moment, but I need to get that out of the box, put it up there as my external monitor, because as you know, I do spend literally my whole day sat on my laptop, so having an external monitor is amazing. I had been using Holly's, but Holly's got this all plugged in with hers because she's going through her final dissertation with uni, so she's like super busy doing that, even though she's not here now, she's actually at work, but in the evening she's coming back and she's sat doing that, so she took that monitor, which means that this perfectly will now fit up there on my desk, which I'm very much looking forward to. And like I just said as well, that is actually an eye care monitor. And as you know, I wear contact lenses and I kind of struggle a little bit with my eyes. And that's an eye care monitor, which kind of means that it kind of takes care of your eyes. So when you're staring at a screen like all day, every day, you kind of feel that strain on your eyes and stuff. So I'm actually quite looking forward to getting that out, testing it out, because if it helps with the old eyeballs when you're sat on your desk like all day, every day, you know, that's a flipping bonus, but that will be a standalone video probably in a couple of weeks time because obviously I need to use it, I need to see what it actually works and feels like in the real world. And you might have seen as well that I've finished the shelves of the console tower since the last video you guys have seen. All four of these new shelves are in, but it doesn't look very pretty at all. There is like just wires and wires everywhere. They're just hanging out everywhere. It doesn't look very pretty at all. That's because I haven't wired it in yet. All I've done is wired in the Xbox. So 
I'm probably not going to do it today. I just thought I would uh, update you on the console tower. None of it is wired in, apart from the Xbox. The LEDs are still hanging around everywhere. Oh yeah, that's the point, because when I did put these shelves in, I actually broke the LEDs. So I need to work out how to kind of solder them back together, because at the moment only this bottom shelf of the LEDs work. None of the rest do, because they're all linked together, and I snapped, I snapped the LEDs. But anyway, that's all going to be happening another day. In the meantime, I'm going to cook myself some eggs, some eggs on toast because it's dinner time and I'm flipping starving Hank Marvin. All right, there we go. Just been in and picked up a few items of the merch. So one happy viewer later, well, I haven't sent it yet. So if you've ordered this, the stuff is going to be on its way very, very soon, hopefully by the end of this video. And who's missed this little poochie boy? Hey, I know one person who has, and that's me, you little sausage. Are you going to go show me your new toy? Why don't you show me your new toy? Look, go get it. Your ears inside out. Go get your new toy. There's a good boy. Good what you got, boy? Hey. Little sausage. So many people keep asking, where's Riley? Where's Riley? Here's Riley. Riley's, Riley's always in the same place. He's playing here. <laughs> How is it without me here anymore, Dad? Does it feel weird? Alright. <laughs> that was nice. Yeah, peace and quiet. <laughs> Hey, G boy! <laughs> Owie! <laughs> you cute little sausage! You cute little sausage! Oh. Is he. Is he allowed off on the sofa he now? Does, is, he, no, does, is, is this his new thing? He's very naughty. He, he's a changed dog, honestly. <laughs> you were never allowed up on the sofa before, but. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> One printer later. So now you might be wondering, what is the story behind this incredible picture? I mean, look at it. Can you see? Let me explain about this picture. Exactly five years ago to the day is when we got this picture. And if we flash back now, pretty much exactly five years ago to 2012, this is when me and Holly embarked on our biggest, most epic travel adventure ever to Thailand. So bear in mind now that we'd been in Thailand for about two and a half weeks and we were going to be there for two and a half months. I don't know where we are or what this is called, but it's pretty mental. We went to Koh Phi Phi. We just made it to Koh Phi Phi and we found our taxi. <laughs> and we found an incredible artist who hand paints these pictures. Holly decided to buy this picture and we had to carry it with us for the whole time we were in Thailand, traveling literally the whole country, so many islands and stuff. We had to carry the picture, luckily, it wasn't framed, it was rolled up into like a long tube. But all we had with us was two bags. We had one backpack which had all of our clothes in and I had one backpack which had all of my camera gear in and stuff. So we had two bags and this had to somehow travel with us for the whole time. flew back to England and it was mounted and I don't know if it's actually been put up on the wall. It was at Holly's house, kind of just propped, but we never actually put it up. So now we are thinking that here is like the most epic and most prominent position to put this picture in the bedroom. It goes with all of the colors and stuff like our curtains and our bed sheets. I think it goes with it really, really well. And the cool thing about it is 
the eyes. They actually look realistic, yes I know, but also if you look at the reflection in these eyes, this is actually Maya Bay, which is an incredible beach in Thailand, so the reflection is of Maya Bay Beach. <laughs> I keep saying beach because the film, The Beach with Leonardo DiCaprio, that is where that film was filmed and it's a very iconic beach. So having her eyes reflecting in stuff brings back a lot of like memories from us from traveling in Thailand. You're looking like into just gorgeous colors and stuff and having that picture up there overlooking us whilst we sleep, I think will be pretty damn awesome. So yes, that picture has traveled thousands and thousands and thousands of miles, which is pretty damn incredible that it was with me and Holly for literally our biggest and coolest travel adventure ever. And now it's, you know, gonna be in our brand new flat, which is like another new adventure. A little bit different, I know you're not traveling through Thailand, but this is our first home together. So it's pretty cool that we're like connecting those two together. And hopefully you have enjoyed that little story and seeing a few clips of me and Holly when we were in Thailand. Hammer time. How sick does that picture look now up on the wall? Come, come here, on. come here. What? Come here, I've got something to show you. I got something to show you. Got something to show you. What? Got something to show you. Dee 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 dee! It's wonky. Hey, no, it's not. <laughs> I'm kidding, it's not. What do you reckon? Yeah. Our picture's on the wall. I'm pretty sure it's never been on the wall since we bought it. I just basically <laughs> did a whole spill. It used to live here, but in the wrapper. Still in that wrapper. <laughs> <laughs> My laptop gets lonely. It's off. But it's just turned itself it's on. I'm not gonna lie, Holly. It's kind of <laughs> freaky when I'm here on my own and, and I it, just turn around. It just does its own thing. And then it just lights up as like, is Holly's like <laughs> sat on that chair? Like, the laptop's like, lonely. Do you want to explain in like ten seconds? Ten seconds. Um, you are like a silhouette. About about your new job. Okay. But I have a new job, and I work in an office. Um, and I sit on a computer you know, like, all day. One second. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> <laughs> I work eight till five in an office. I said the other day that Holly's got a new job. Basically. Um, Holly's How much got a new detail job. are we going into? You can't really go into detail in 10 seconds. As you can say, it's kind but of just an spent annoying like time. 20 seconds saying, oh, yeah, it has come at the worst possible time, considering I have my uni work due in in three days. It's not just your uni work, though, it's your dissertation. My final project for the whole forever since I've been studying. So and my everything. word count is. <laughs> Not much. Everything. Well, how, how long have you been doing uni work now About for? About five years. So Holly's been doing this open uni course for five years. And she's got less than a week to finish five years work. And start, I suppose. <laughs> you better. This is what I mean, the, the job's Last gonna come. Panic. Oh gosh, I nearly dropped it. Right, here we go. We got enough space on the table for this bad boy? So, Melissa is actually our first dinner guest. And we have, oh god, I'm really gonna drop this. We have made a puff pastry pizza with a cream leaky sauce, bit of tomatoes, bit of uh, spinoir, bit of onion, potatoes. Yeah, the only problem is we have two plates and there's three of us, so Holly's got to... You do have the most amazing cutlery. I know, I literally showed them to Melissa and she was like, oh my Don't god. Don't have plates, but look at the cutlery. Look at the cutlery. <laughs> so I know, at the beginning of the video, I said that I was going to open this box and get it on my desk and stuff, but for some reason today is like completely focus. Today is like completely flown by super, super fast. So I'm not going to open this in today's video. But like I said, I will be doing a standalone video of this monitor, which I'm very much looking forward to. But anyway, hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, please smash a big fat thumbs up. And like I said earlier, comment down below some cool video ideas you would like to see in the near distant future. With all that being said, I will now just leave you guys with those three very important things, which are, as always, stay happy, stay positive, stay awesome. Goodbye. And these filters are super duper light as well because you don't want heavy filters, you don't want thick heavy filters because if you put them on a drone for instance,